Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, guys, man? I got a great video for you guys today, man. I'm back, man. We're going to continue to celebrate Michael Jordan. You guys know what I'm doing, man. And I want to appreciate, I want to thank you guys, and I appreciate all your love, your comments, the views, everything, man. I really appreciate all that stuff, guys, man. And I appreciate you guys coming along with me for the ride to celebrate Michael Jordan, to celebrate his greatness, to stop the lies, man. And in this video, I want to talk about, real briefly, I want to talk about Michael Jordan's dunks, man. The different kinds of dunks that Michael Jordan would do in games, in-game dunking, guys. I'm not going to talk about the dunk contest dunks. This is just going to be in-game dunks of Michael Jordan. And one of my favorite in-game dunks of Michael Jordan, all right, guys? This won't be a long video. But once again, guys, hit that play button, turn the volume up, get your kids up for school or whatever. Get yourself together, man. Go get your breakfast going, man. Whatever you got going on this morning, brush your teeth, man. And let's roll, guys. So, when we think about Michael Jordan's dunks, right? Michael Jordan had a lot of dunks that he would do. He had the very good creativity. I've told you guys, the creativity, the artistry of Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan could turn a regular, basic tomahawk dunk and make it look so much better than anybody else. Just because of his level of artistry. Right. The way that he moved his legs in the air, the way he contorted his body, right. The way that he would move the ball, manipulated. It. it was just a thing of beauty. So when we think about Michael Jordan and different kinds of dunks that he would do in games, I'm talking about in game dunking here, guys. What are your favorites? What are my favorites? Now, I hate to label or break it down or narrow it down into just one dunk, but I'll, I'll, I'll narrow it down to like my top three or my favorite three Michael Jordan dunks. Now, when we talk about dunking from Michael Jordan, we all know that Michael Jordan's signature dunk was what? The leaner, right? We call it the leaner, right? He would lean sideways, almost like he was going to kiss the rim, right? He would be leaning into the, into the dunk. And it's hard for me to, to, to really do the dunks, guys, or, or to demonstrate these dunks, you know, sitting in my car here, guys. So forgive me. But the leaner was Michael Jordan's signature dunk. He would do that all the time, man, and it was a thing of beauty, man. No one did the leaner quite like Michael Jordan. I've seen other people uh, imitate it and things like that. No one does it quite like Michael Jordan. Gets that level of creativity, a level of artistry like Michael Jordan did on the leaner, right? We all know about that was his signature dunk. However, when we talk about Michael Jordan's dunks and we talk about what are your favorite dunks, the leaner, it was a great dunk, man. I think all Michael Jordan's dunks were beautiful. Like I'm saying, his artistry was just there. But if we narrow it down, one of my favorite Michael Jordan dunks was one of the dunks that he would bring it down in the front, guys. You guys know he would bring the ball down to like almost like his waist, all the way down to like his waist, guys. Like touch his waist and, and touch his thighs and then dunk it. I mean, that would to me, his legs would be crossed. Sometimes he would do this, man, and he would bring it down and then he would dunk it with two hands. You guys know the dunk I'm talking about, man. He would touch like his waist in the front and then bring it up, man. I mean, that's just beautiful, that dunk, man. You know how high up you got to be and hang in the air to do that, man, to touch it down and then bring it up, man. To me, that was one of my favorite dunks that Michael Jordan would do on the break, man. Just a beautiful, beautiful dunk, man. Another one of my favorite Michael Jordan dunks that he would do routinely was the cradle dunk, right? He would, he would cup it. I've seen him do it in, in games. I believe he did it as a rookie. Uh, he did it in a game as a rookie, the cradle dunk, man. Uh, he, you guys know what I'm talking about, man. He would cup that ball. Dr. J... Uh, made a very popular dunk, uh, the cradle dunk. Dr. J had done it uh, in games himself. And Michael Jordan did uh, did the similar kind of dunk, man. And it was a thing of beauty. Michael Jordan actually did that dunk when he was in uh, college. I, I remember seeing him do that dunk in college. The, you know, rock the cradle, whatever you want to call it, guys. Just a beautiful dunk, man. Another great dunk from Michael Jordan was his reverse dunks. He would do these reverse dunks where he would almost touch his ankles, right? He'd bring the knees up. He'd bring the ball down, to, you know what I'm saying? And then he would reverse it. Beautiful, beautiful dunk, man. Beautiful dunk, man. Like, like I said, touching like his ankles, man. Bringing it all the way down to the knees, you know, bringing the knees up. Like I said, just the artistry, the way he looked, man. It was beautiful, man. He would throw that dunk down, man. And he would clutch it, right? He would pump it and dunk it. Beautiful dunk, man. Michael Jordan... Had the up and under where he would come on the other side of the rim, right, and dunk it. He didn't do that dunk many, many times. But, you know, depending on where the defense was and what angle he was coming at, he would use that rim, right, as protection, and he would come on the other side and dunk it. I've seen him do that uh, a couple of times. Uh, but Michael Jordan had, you know, like I said, he had a, a great tomahawk jam. The Statue of Liberty dunk by Michael Jordan to me was a thing of beauty. That was one of my favorite dunks also. You guys know the Statue of Liberty, man, where a guy will run up, hold it in their hands up high, and then throw it down. The thing about Michael Jordan is the Statue of Liberty dunk has been done by many, many uh, basketball players in NBA history. It's a very common dunk. 
However, when I talk about Michael Jordan doing it, it looked different than other players. Like I said, his artistry was different. He would have his legs. I mean, it was almost like the Jumpman logo. He'd have his legs spread open, man. He'd have the ball, you know what I'm saying, back there, man. He had those big hands. The way he would move his body and manipulate it. I mean, the Statue of Liberty dunk by Michael Jordan to me was beautiful. He had a really nice one against the Cleveland Cavaliers, I believe in like 1993. I think it was in the, the, the second round of the playoffs. He had a nice one on a fast break, man, but he held it up and the legs were open, man, and he jammed it. It, it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. Statue of Liberty dunk. You know, you never really saw Michael Jordan do like windmill dunks. You never saw Michael Jordan do like 360 dunks. Those weren't really his things in games and stuff like that. You didn't really see that kind of stuff uh, from Michael Jordan. You know, guys like a Dominique Wilkins, that was like his jam. The windmill man, he did the windmill all the time, Dominique. It was, he like perfected it. Um, but yeah, you didn't really see Michael Jordan do like windmills or 360 dunks in games. Um, I've seen him do like a, a 360 dunk before at like one of those... Um, you know, what was it, like a charity game or something like that, or, or one of those games, you know, overseas. Um, I've seen him do a, th a 360 dunk. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, listen, Michael Jordan had so many dunks, man. He had the two-handed cock back to the side dunk. Um, we all know that poster from the Orlando Magic Series in 95. Uh, he, I believe he had a similar kind of dunk against the Pacers in 98 where he would cock it back to the side here and dunk it. He, he did that dunk a lot more in, in his later years. I mean, the, the first five, six, seven years of Michael Jordan's career, you know, when he was really Air Jordan, those first, like, four or five years, man, those dunks, man, like I said, the rock the cradle dunk, the, 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 the reverse jam, the Statue of Liberty dunks, the leaners, I mean, these dunks were just things of beauty, man. Like I said, to pump it down to the, to the front and bring it up with two hands. Those were dunks that he would do all the time. I mean, Michael Jordan did these dunks all the time, guys, and a lot of these dunks he would do on people. That was Michael Jordan. That was Air Jordan, man flying through the air with the tongue out, you know what I'm saying, and just, like I said, just putting it on people, man, he would make a regular tomahawk jam look really nice, you know, all these dunks, man, but I would say my favorites were the, were the rock the cradle dunk, the, the one, like I said, where he would pump it down in the front, bring it down to his waist, and then dunk it with two hands, uh, and I would say probably, I don't know, man, the Statue of Liberty or the reverse, man. I think those are like my three favorite dunks. It's, it's those three of those four, man. Those are my favorite ones. Like I said, they're all great. Like I said, Michael Jordan just looked beautiful when he was dunking. The leaner was beautiful. I mean, some of those leaners he got, man, I mean, he took off from far away, some of these leaners, man. And it looked like he was like literally leaning into the, I mean, you guys know what I'm saying? And he was so far out with that leaner. It was beautiful, man. It really was, man. A lot of those dunks, man, Michael Jordan would just take off from some of these places that you're like, and then he would dunk it on people. He's doing this on people. Oh man, the aerial assault from Michael Air Jordan, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. What is your favorite Michael Jordan dunk that he would routinely do in games? I'm not talking about the slam dunk contest. Maybe I'll do a video on my favorite slam dunk contest dunks because we all know some of those dunks were insane, man. I mean, the level of artistry of Michael Jordan in the slam dunk contest it's something else, man. Something else. But I'm just talking about in-game dunking Michael Jordan. What are your favorite dunks, guys, of Michael Jordan in games? Which one was it, man? Can you narrow it down to just one? What are your favorite two or your favorite three? Let me know, guys, man, how you feel about Michael Jordan and his, and his different kinds of dunks that he would do in games, man. Michael Air Jordan, man. I mean, the beautiful, like I said, he would take a regular dunk and just make it look different, man. That's why people went to watch Michael Jordan, because the things he did was just different, guys. I've told you this before, man. That's why he was sold out. That's why he took over the NBA, man. He was box office from the minute he stepped on the court. The things that he was doing in the air, the level of artistry, man, it was beautiful. No one did it like Michael Jordan, man. Nobody, man.